Uh, there's a question by a mother who says, how should one approach waking up children for Fajr prayer and get around all the crying and sleepiness? That's, that's a very important question. You know, if the system in your house is that everyone is awake at that time, the children will automatically be awake. Our system today is we all sleep late. All of us, me included, myself included, we sleep late. Yesterday the brother, three in the morning, got a message from me. He tells me, what are you doing? I said, don't worry, I'll see you early morning. I, I, I will be there. You don't need to worry whether I sleep or I don't sleep. Subhanallah. But we have a, we have a khalal, we have a deficit in our own system of, of sleep and waking up. Here we're specifically talking of fajr, fajr. So if all of us have the adoption of the hadith that speaks about sleeping, for example, after Salat al-Isha, trying to sleep early, uh, whether we want to talk about it from a religious point of view, even from a secular point of view, you know the statement which says early to bed, early to rise and so on. But from a religious point of view, if we all have that system in place and we don't let the environment affect that system, it becomes easier for them to wake up. Point number one. Point number two is if we, we need to be awake, at least get your children to sleep early, you know, at that particular time. Because there comes... A time when you've just slept enough, you can't sleep no more. You know, I, I've, I've had my full sleep, 10 hours, gone. Now, I have no option but to get up. So th that is one angle, the angle of sleep. The other angle is the angle of talking about it, showing the importance to the child of this particular time of the day. And sometimes not only from a religious point, because a lot of us say, get up. Allah will be very upset, you know, if you don't get up. I've heard parents say that, okay? But how does it affect the child you to say that? Say Allah is ghafur rahim, Allah is merciful and so on. Yes, it's a duty unto Allah without a doubt. Without a doubt it would be a sin, you know, at, especially at a certain age when, you, when, when it becomes farad on you, then it's a major sin. But for us to, st to use other examples, you know, the air early morning is very fresh and so on. And you know, those who get up, they have a good day. Speak of other aspects, the other things, the other benefits of getting up. And like I say, lead by example. That, that is something that, is, uh, that I find very, very important. Uh, also, from a very early age, if we start not getting up the child as such, but uh, you know, to say, come read Salatul Fajr and so on. But from a, the, the, the age of infancy, if the child is awake at that particular time of the day, the system becomes programmed. The system becomes programmed. And as the child grows older, the child, the child will be awake. But what we do a lot of the times, now my daughter is nine years old, for example, and we start saying, right, from tomorrow, you get up for Salatul Fajr. Come on. For nine years, there was nothing happening. Now, from tomorrow, I must get up for Salatul Fajr. They look for loopholes, you know, this way and that way. Allahu Akbar. So, uh, I know I've just mentioned a few pointers. Obviously, people might want to share ideas with one another. And I found this very beneficial that parents, you get together at a school of this nature, discuss your points of success with one another. Look, I tried this with my child, and mashallah, I found it very beneficial. This is why we have some working groups, you know, workshops, where we get into smaller groups, and we can discuss how I learned, how I benefited, uh, how do you, because your environment might be totally different from mine. And maybe what you uh, come across might be totally different. There will be people who have something similar to you in terms of environment that have done something that has really achieved for them. It was only that they didn't share it with you. Had you given them a platform for them to share it with you, share experiences, it would be good. So maybe uh, Manar can look into this as well. Sometimes they might have already had it, but have little workshops of sharing experiences regarding a topic. And inshallah it can help. Yes, sister.